Welcome back to Tripura. This is Ace, and we're on day 21. Got some repairs to do, and we've got some <laughs> some farm to to look at. And uh, sure wish I hadn't sure wish I hadn't messed that up and had gotten that converted to flax right away, rather than letting it lie fallow for a while. I think that's going to be our biggest problem this winter is is worrying about the cold. And I, I think we're going to be fine, but. It's just a shame that I didn't remember to take care of that. Alright, so let's get some repairs done. We've got a bunch of stuff that needs a couple things here and there. By Odin's might. Mm -hmm. By Grabthar's hammer. Take a look at what else we have over here at the cutting station at the loggers. Need a couple of bark. Small stone. Large stone. Should look right behind there. There's probably still stones there from when we beat up the droggers. Like that one right there. <laughs> a long stick just a few feet away. Oh, well, there you go. Just five fibers for that watchtower. This watchtower, Gertrude. that watchtowers simply contributed as a whole, but now I'm thinking that they actually have an area of effect around them. 
moving Gertrude from that tower to that tower did actually reduce the number of buildings that showed being out of defense. It must be a very small circle around the watchtower, though. without coming over here and grabbing fish. Just to create some encouragement. Grab that fish and bring it over here. So that he maybe decides to, you know, spend his spare time actually gutting fish rather than watching the flames. One item left to repair, it looks like. Oh, somebody's already taking care of that. Another worker expansion and one more tower. Our farmer is complaining about what? They need rakes. There is indeed not a rake sitting there. I imagine she's coming over here to get sticks. and bark. All right. Let's help these lumberjacks out with some sticks. So we want to make sure that food production is continuing with no problems. Our temperature is negative now, so now I'm going to really start paying attention to everybody's happiness and making sure that nobody is suffering because my temperature is starting to go down a little bit and I'm dressed uh, better than probably anybody else here so we are just coming here now and checking them out and looking for low temps once their hit points start going down they go down pretty quick these guys love to hang out right here so I'm gonna go ahead and build a fire that. Five stones. We can get those from behind. Again, from the draugers.
onto that if I recover. get this fire started up and then we're gonna tell some people to take the rest of the day off because it is cold and miserable out here. Here, let me go take a look. Right, so these guys now are nice and warm, I think. Yep. Cook obviously stays nice and warm there. Folks at the uh, wooden altar stay nice and warm. Now I'm going to sort by suffering. Freezing to death. Tell them to take the day off. Fishermen, oh, the fishermen definitely. Cutter, everybody's coming up because it's the end of the day, and so they're all coming in for the day. But that showed us just how close we came on a lot of these. So, pretty much, we're going to go down the list here and just tell everybody to start taking time off. This is a problem with the suffering thing. So we can see. Uh, let's go to Asa. So Asa's warmth was going down. Asa was going to start freezing to death. Technically not suffering until the hit points begin to drop off for that. At that point, it's only a couple minutes before that person's dead. So be careful about waiting for I'm suffering. because every one of them was was getting cold.
builder probably fine because he's hanging around the camp and there's not much building to be done. The workshop, dangerous because they hang out over there by the workshop where there's no fire. Woodcutter dangerous because they're out in the field the whole day. Hunter, very dangerous because they go way out in the field and if they get cold. They just can't go back to a fire. You know, if the person at the warehouse gets cold enough, then he'll come over to the fire, which is only a few feet away. But the hunter, yeah, they just can't get back in time. Cooking hut obviously is not a problem. Watchtower's already been told to take all his time off. So at this point, everybody's been told to take time off, take the day off. And now they're all going to just hover around here, around the fires. I've also noticed that it's not a given that people will refuel the fire in the cat cottages. So make sure that when it's getting cold out that everybody's done that. Otherwise you could have two, three, four, eight people freeze to death in their sleep because nobody was willing to start the fire. Your citizens here are not very interested in their own self-preservation. Feels like they look like they're in pretty good shape. I'm gonna go grab a rake so that I can do farming as I need to. The cook has plenty of food available to them, but they only work so many hours a day, so we're gonna supplement that. Somebody drop back here. Weird bunch of stuff.
make sure, make sure, make sure you right click yellow mushrooms only. They are poisonous and they will kill you if your health is low enough and you eat them. Miserable start to winter. Cold, wet, and rainy. those mushrooms. You can also make mushroom soup, which is of course just four mushrooms. Okay, well, there's our day. Tomorrow's probably going to be more of the same. 
I'm going to have everybody off work, and uh, I'm going to be doing a lot of stuff so that they can just sit around the fire. Stick around. Let's see how we do. This is Ace, signing off.